Good morning. Welcome to St. Joseph the Worker Parish at Word of God Church. 
We especially welcome those who are joining us today via live streaming on YouTube. Please stand and greet our celebrant, Father Ken, assisted by Deacon Joe. Our entrance antiphon, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. For me, the measuring lines have fallen on pleasant sights. Fair to me indeed is my inheritance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who called the Bishop St. John Newman, renowned for his charity and pastoral service, to shepherd your people in America. Grant by his intercession that as we foster the Christian education of youth and are strengthened by the witness of brotherly love, we may constantly increase the family of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Unlike Cain, who belonged to the evil one and slaughtered his brother. Why did he slaughter him? Because his own works were evil and those of his brother righteous. Do not be amazed then, my brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love is that he laid down his life for us. So we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means sees a brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let and all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, Come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. 
His we are, his people, the flock he tends. And all the earth cry out to God with joy. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good. The Lord, whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today, a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> Jesus decided to go to Galilee and he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, follow me. Now Philip was, was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, we have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, how do you know me? Jesus answered him and said, before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Again this day we hear again the story of Jesus, of Jesus' ministry and to again continue to call his disciples, Philip, Nathaniel, and be able to again get the help that he needed for the mission. And yet Nathaniel had a little bit of doubt in him. Can anything good come from Nazareth? can almost be applied to anyone. Can anything good come from Swiss Vale? You don't want to answer that question publicly. But that wasn't the point. But Philip said, come and see. To get that curiosity started, huh? To be able to again find the Lord and ask the Lord, what do you want me to do for you? And I think as we begin this new year, those are the types of questions we need to ask. What can we do for the Lord this coming year, this new year? What can we accomplish that we didn't do last year, that we could have, should have, and never got around to it? 
Because again, we put all kinds of obstacles, all kinds of reasons, all kinds of excuses that I can't. Why not? Oh no. That's not an answer. Because we do know how much more of a communication do we need? My gosh, we have Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, every possible communication vehicle out there. I don't know. We can't say that anymore. We do know. But maybe we're afraid to know. Again, that might still be the issue in our life. Why are we afraid of what the Lord wants from us? We're not afraid of asking him, give me this, give me that. But when it comes to him, oh, well, here comes all the excuses once again. We can't do that. Come and see. That's what we need to do. Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angel of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. What Jesus came into our world to do, none of us are called to do because we'd be too afraid. But Jesus came into our world in that manger scene. And he grew in wisdom and strength and completed his mission. May we, as we begin this new year, not to be afraid of completing our mission. Whatever the Lord asks us to do, we need the grace and strength that he'll provide for us as long as we believe and trust in him. We now place before our God our special petitions this day. For all of us in the church, may the Lord bless us and purify our hearts for the coming of the fullness of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For civic and world leaders, may God grant them wisdom, compassion, and integrity in serving their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> For couples who are struggling with difficult relationships, may the Holy Spirit guide them in reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For this faith community, may God help us to grow in charity and kindness in the fruits of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all of our beloved dead, may they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For eternal rest for Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For eternal rest for Father Jim Garvey, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our and for Donna Bennett, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please join in the St. Joseph prayer. O oh God, God, creator of all things, things who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the reward you promise through Christ our Lord, amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I receive the bread we offer you for the earth. Work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I receive the wine we offer you for the vine. Work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Praise, sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Merciful Lord, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ, your Son, just as you granted to St. John Newman to imitate what he celebrated through... Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, my own God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life are shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Zion, the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Zion, the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which was given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was, then he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring a fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John Newman, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity and accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your son, we ask, O oh Lord, that by the example of St. John Newman, we may experience the power of this sacrament and remain constantly in the church by the bond of unity and truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing, who reigns now with Christ our Redeemer and King. Ave, ave, ave Maria. Ave, ave Maria. <clears throat> Most holy and immaculate Virgin and our Mother Mary, you are our perpetual help, our refuge, and our hope. We come to you today. <clears throat> we thank God for all the graces received through your intercession. Mother of perpetual <clears throat> help, we promise to love you always and to do all we can to lead others to you. Mother of perpetual help, confident of your powerful influence with God, obtain for us these graces. The strength to overcome temptation, a perfect love for Jesus Christ, and a holy death, so that we will live with you and your Son for all eternity. Let us pray to be open to God's word. Mother of perpetual help, you continually sought the meaning of God's words and actions in your life. As we listen to God's word, may the Holy Spirit enlighten our understanding and give us the courage to put his word into practice in our daily lives. Let us pray as a community of faith. Mary, all generations have called you blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for you. Mother of perpetual help, we call upon your most powerful name. Your very name inspires confidence and hope. May it always be on our lips, especially in times of temptation and at the hour of our death. Blessed Lady, help us whenever we call on you. Let us not be content with merely pronouncing your name. May our daily lives proclaim that you are our mother and our perpetual help. Let us pray for our temporal ones. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we kneel before you. We implore your help in the problems of our daily lives. Trials and sorrows often depress us. Misfortunes and privations bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross. Comforter the afflicted, beg your son Jesus to strengthen us as we bear our burdens and to free us from our sufferings. Or if it be the will of God that we should suffer still longer, help us endure all with love and patience. May we follow the example of your son and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Let us now present our petitions and our thanks. Lord Jesus Christ, at a word from Mary, your mother, you changed water into wine at Cana of Galilee. Listen now to the people of God gathered here to honor our mother of perpetual help. Grant our petitions and accept our sincere thanks. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop David, our priests, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Hear us, Lord, 
through Mary, our mother. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant us continual health of mind and body and help the sick, especially to regain their health according to your holy will. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant eternal rest to all our deceased, especially and to the souls of all the faithful departed. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us pause now to silently present our own petitions to our mother of perpetual help. Lord, accept our thanks for the new life of grace you gave us. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for all the graces received through the sacramental life of the church. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings we have received. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us pause now to silently thank our mother of perpetual help for our own favors received. Let us pray for the sick. Lord, look upon your servants, laboring under bodily weakness. Cherish and revive the souls which you have created, so that purified by their sufferings, they may soon find themselves healed by your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, that he may defend you, within you, that he may sustain you, before you that he may lead you, behind you that he may protect you, above you that he may bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us renew our confidence in Mary as a perpetual help. Mother of perpetual help, <clears throat> you have been blessed and favored by God. You became not only the mother of the Redeemer, but the mother of the redeemed as well. We come to you today as your loving children. Watch over us and take care of us. As you held the child Jesus in your loving arms, so take us in your arms. Be a mother ready at every moment to help us. For God, who is mighty, has done great things for you, and his mercy is from age to age on those who love him. Our greatest fear is that in time of temptation, we may fail to call out to you and become lost children. Intercede for us, dear Mother, in obtaining pardon for our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of perpetual help. Let us renew our act of consecration. United with the members of your confraternity here and throughout the world, we consecrate ourselves to your service. We promise to renew this dedication once a month and frequently to receive the sacraments. We beg you to obtain for us the grace to imitate your great servant, St. Alphonsus, in his love for you and your son. Let us unite with the Christians of all ages in praising Mary and in committing ourselves to her powerful protection. 
Hail Mary, <clears throat> full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may become worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary, whose image we venerate, as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant we beg you that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask through you, who live and reign forever. Amen. <clears throat> Hail, Holy Queen, and throne above, O Maria. Hail, Queen of mercy and of love, O Maria. Oh. 